Hello, this is Yensu, Danica, and Sarah. In this presentation, we are going to talk about why we should recycle aluminum cans and how they are made. Keep watching if you want to know how aluminum cans can affect you. Below Nyamgiri Mountains, there are 72 million tons of bauxite, which Vedanta, the aluminum-making company in India from England, wants to extract to make aluminum so that they can earn money. Oh my, that bad Vedanta company. People blow up all of one mountain just for bauxite. Can you believe it? It kills lots of animals, ruins lots of food chains, and all of the blowed up plants goes to waste. That is not good. In India, the Vedanta company is terrorizing the tribes of Niamgiri. Vedanta blows up the top of the mountain for bauxite and so ash spills out across the plain beneath the brooding bulk of Niamgiri mountain, forming dirty gray and brown drifts around the stems of shrubs. We now use 40% less aluminum to make aluminum cans than we did in the 1970s. This is very good and good for our environment because we then can make less aluminum and so the earth will be less polluted by bauxite dust. Factories that are built next to villages causes toxic to absorb into farmland, rivers, and river sides. The toxic data everywhere causes weird diseases that local doctors are unable to fix. It causes air pollution as well. The Indian government gave permission to the Vedanta company to mine in the Nyamgiri tribes area, mostly because they wanted more money for themselves. <laughs> the old aluminum cans are taken to an aluminum reclamation plant. The aluminum cans are shredded and fed into a melting surface. The molten aluminum is gradually hardened into rectangular slabs then formed into thin sheets of aluminum. On boats, aluminum cans conserve space, weight, and it's cheaper. Since aluminum cans are light, not a lot of air pollution is created while transporting. The entire packaging system and packaging of aluminum cans needs to be controlled to ensure freshness because when the cans get shipped, Dust and mold go to the top of the can, and that is why they need to make packaging safer for aluminum cans. Americans use 100.6 billion cans each year. That means 340 cans per person in a year, and only 65% of all that is recycled. That is not good for our environment. <gasps> oh my god! The toxic from aluminum cans will absorb into lands, which will absorb into grass. Then, an animal will eat the grass, and we people will eat that animal. It impacts the environment and human health. Too many kids, such as almost everybody, are obese or fat because of drinking soft drinks from aluminum cans all the time. This will affect your teeth because the sugar in soft drinks will cause cavity. Dentists will hate this. Did you know that if we recycled all of the aluminum cans we bought and used, there would be 95% less air pollution and 97% less water pollution? How great is that? That our world can change just by recycling aluminum cans. It is not that hard. Aluminum cans do not biodegrade. Every time you don't recycle an aluminum can, you are filling up more landfill. Rusty cans, because it doesn't biodegrade, causes titanium.
Local pickers, such as lower class people, get more money because of recycling more aluminum cans they find lying around in the streets than middle or higher class people. They can almost make more money than them. Aluminum manufacturers save energy and money by using recycled aluminum, so they will pay you for your old cans. As a result, aluminum can is one of the most common metals in the stream waste. We have to recycle aluminum cans to have a better environment and world for us and all the living things on Earth. So, recycle! Next time you get a can of Coke or Sprite or any other soft drink, make sure to recycle them or else where will we live? <gasps> I don't know. We can never know what might happen to us. I don't want to die. Me too. <laughs> Here are the sources we use to find our research for aluminum cans and how we can make it into a better world. Thank you for the people who put out the sources. Thanks to you, we could make this wonderful Petra Kucha. We use Compite or Flickr and Google.com. Thank you so much for watching our Petra Kucha on aluminum cans and how they can affect our lives. Remember, recycle your cans. Thank you. Always recycle. That will make us live in a better world.